Hi, y'all. So I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> And I hate to make one of those why I haven't posted in a while videos because those are usually very clickbaity and I am first and foremost an edit maker and not a vlogger. But I've made update videos on my health before and I am of the opinion that I am very silly when I am sick and that that makes for good content. I'm also in a very unique position where I'm personally experiencing something very specific and I can create something that both educates people who don't know much about anemia while also being able to possibly have solidarity with my fellow anemia boys. Cause that's what I am now, an anemia boy. So, <laughs> so this video is going to be in a couple different sections. What is anemia? What is my anemia? Where am I going from here? And feel free to skip around depending on your own familiarity with anemia or watch the whole thing. I don't know how long this is gonna be. So take breaks or don't. I can't tell you how to watch YouTube. Um, yep, that's it, bye. This is such a basic overview of what anemia is and there is so much more to it than this. As you will see when I talk about my own experience and even then, just like any illness, disease, disability, what have you, it's going to affect every single person a little bit differently. So keep that in mind. According to Mayo Clinic, anemia is a problem of not having enough healthy red blood cells or hemoglobin to carry oxygen to the body's tissues. Hemoglobin is what's in the red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to literally everywhere else in the body, so it's super important. And then when you have low hemoglobin, you can have low red blood cells and then you can have anemia. And having anemia can cause symptoms such as tiredness, weakness, shortness of breath, pale or yellowish skin, which which might be more obvious on white skin than on darker skin and BIPOC people, irregular heartbeat, dizziness or lightheadedness, chest pain, cold hands and feet, headaches, and honestly so many other random things. It's kind of like stress in that way where there's just a million symptoms and nobody talks about them because we don't even know what all of them are. So we can't talk about all of them. It's a whole thing. If you had a similar education to me, you might have learned about sickle cell anemia and that's it. But actually, there are many forms of anemia. Each has its own cause. Anemia can be short-term or long-term. It can range from mild to severe, and it can also be a warning sign of other serious illnesses. It's not necessarily a forever thing. It can come and go, and it can also take several months to fully improve your blood. <laughs> According to the Cleveland Clinic, anemia in all of its forms is very common and experts estimate that 3 million people in the US have anemia. They also estimate that the condition affects one in three people in the global population. That's wild to me. That is so many people. And it makes sense because since telling people that I'm anemic, a lot of other people have told me that they have also been anemic at some point. That's mostly been people in my immediate family and also just people who are assigned female at birth in general because those people tend to lose more blood. And I've also heard from people who haven't been anemic but who know someone who has been anemic at some point. So it is incredibly common. So what is going on with me? Well, my anemia is essentially caused by heavy periods that are too close together. The technical term for this is anemia due to excessive bleeding. And according to the Merck manual, it's the most common cause of anemia. So this right here is a picture of me from the morning of before diagnosis where my roommate commented that my lips looked pale that should have been a sign <laughs> and the past few days before this i'd been having pretty bad brain fog you know like how i had brain fog from covid and if i had known these were symptoms of anemia and had been thinking about it i probably would have gone to the hospital sooner what ended up happening was i passed out then went to the hospital. Passing out is like objectively very funny after the fact, especially because for me it was in a bathroom. Like I woke up on a bathroom floor. <laughs> 
I got a bunch of tests done. I got diagnosed with anemia. Kind of funny side note, my doctor said I had the lowest hemoglobin that she's seen in a year and that if it was any lower, I would have had to been actively bleeding. So it, 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 it was pretty bad. I did get prescribed an iron supplement, which there are some side effects of that, especially because I was prescribed 325 milligrams, which is a pretty big amount, but my body really needed the iron. I took those for a few days and then my body said no. I talked to my doctor and I did some research and I started taking CVS brand slow release iron that was 40 milligrams and it was much easier on my body but the reason it was easier is because it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> At this point, I was home for spring break and my mom, who has been anemic before back in 2016 and she gets it, she showed me how to cook liver. It's actually a recipe from my dad's mom and I will be sharing it later in this video if you're interested. Liver is really high in iron and since my pills weren't working, this was helping in place of that. I also got a cane because I'd been walking with a walking stick that I found in the woods, so literally just a tree branch, because I was wobbly and scared. And having an actual cane is so much better for my hands and my legs. So now I'm on iron number three and it's working. It's a liquid iron. It's about 220 milligrams. Plus I started birth control to help with the excessive bleeding problem. So I have an iron that works. I have a cane that helps me walk, a liver recipe if I need it, and a birth control. And I have a support group of people. For a while, I wasn't able to go to work. I'm really thankful that my workplace was so understanding about that. And that is the benefits of having a boss who has been off and on anemic for years and gets it. One of my professors has also been anemic on and off for years before and she's super understanding about it. My friends and my roommates, even though none of them have been anemic before, they get it and they still document my silly adventures just like they would any other normal day. <laughs> no, Mrs. Clown. My little pot of soup. Is he getting smaller? <laughs> no, Mrs. Clown. May I have a bowl of soup? Hello. Is he getting smaller? Let's talk symptoms for a second. Tiredness. Check. Weakness. Check. I can't open things sometimes. Hey, are you strong? <laughs> yeah. Shortness of breath, check. For a while, I thought my asthma was acting up and I even got a new inhaler in addition to the iron, just in case. I would love to know how to breathe. Pale or yellowish skin, check. And I'm already incredibly pale, so that's an achievement for sure. Irregular heartbeat, not really. Dizziness or lightheadedness, check chest pain not really cold hands and feet i am cold everywhere all the time <laughs> headaches check and one specifically really bad migraine plus in addition to this i've been having muscle pain and cramps that feel like growing pains from when you're like a, a kid and a teenager but i'm not growing anymore and then there's the side effects from taking the iron which i won't get too detailed with but they can cause constipation and a lot of weird digestive stuff in general and then there are the birth control side effects which have made me very emotional i've been crying a lot i've been more depressed than usual pimples sore boobs spotting and most recently hot flashes so i'm just hot and cold it's so much fun <laughs> My birth control side effects will calm down once I've been on it for a couple months and hopefully the iron will calm down as well. I am getting blood work done in June, so we'll see how I'm doing then. I am back at work and I'm actually starting a second job over the summer. I'm really excited for the summer in general. School is going as well as school can be. I'll keep you guys updated and I will see you in my finals week vlog. I wanted to get this one out before that one so that no one is like shocked that I'm anemic. <laughs> and I will leave you with this cooking video. And with that, bye y'all! Oh, wow. um,
powder. Okay, it's probably enough salt on that. I'll put a little bit more salt on that meat. If you're not seasoning your meats, get out of my kitchen. Uh, yeah. Season your meat. All right, butter is just about ready. Food beyond compare. Food beyond belief. This is how we do. Making the liver. I'm so good at making liver. Look at me make this liver. Liver. Now I need my liver fork. You sort of toss them in the flour. You gotta coat these boys. Butter, 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 butter. Sizzle, sizzle, butter pan. Butter, 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 butter pan. <laughs> Butter is just about ready to go. The liver is just about ready to go. Do 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 do. I'm doing this one-handed. Um, normally my mommy is helping, but I'm doing it one-handed. Butter, 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 Okay, now we're sizzling. Now, now we're, we're cooking, cooking with gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's ready to flip. Any tongs, please? So you don't want it to get too done because then it gets really, really tough and hard to chew. So basically, as soon as it's brown, you flip it. <laughs> that guy's still got a little bit of heat on him, but yeah, I'll flip you. I'm not gonna flip you yet. I'm if this guy would freaking get in the pan. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm the best camera person ever. I'm just shaking that shit so much. <laughs> brown on that side, brown on that side. That's honestly too done. That's better. I want him to be <laughs> a little bit on the floppy side. Am I a coward? Yeah, you want him to be tender. Who calls me for this? Excuse you. I'm cooking over They're here. They're doing a cooking vlog, you fucking asshole. You interrupt Ratatouille's kitchen. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. All right. We're not gonna have more butter because I'm living life on the wild side. Upside, inside out. Living the vida. La liver loca. La vida liver. Living la vida liver. Well, now you have a bowl of cooked liver mm. and you can put it with whatever you want. Good. Ooh, is that pink? That's it fucking is. pink. One moment, please. It's fine. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's done. 